Hi guys, today we're looking at product moment correlation coefficient, otherwise known as PMCC. So what exactly is PMCC? Well, simply put it, it measures the strength of correlation of a line of best fit. Remember the times when you had to draw a scatter graph and you had to draw a line of best fit? Well, PMCC tells you how strong or how weak that correlation is. Is it a strong positive or strong negative, a weak positive, a weak negative, or in fact has no correlation between the two variables at all? And that's what PMCC will determine. Whereas the regression line measured the equation of the line of best fit in terms of y equals mx plus c, PMCC tells you how strong or how weak that correlation is. Now the idea is to calculate the PMCC without the need of drawing a scatter graph. Before we progress, we need to know another code for PMCC, and that code is a lowercase r. Now, in order to determine and compare the strength of R, we need to know what values R takes on. R happens to take on values of negative 1 through to 0 all the way to 1. And based on those inequalities, you can see it includes negative 1 and 1. Realistically, however, you are very rarely going to achieve a PMCC of exactly negative 1 or 1 you're more likely to going to get values between minus 1 and 1. But we need to understand what those numbers mean and how we compare that to our correlation strength. And that goes on to our next slide. This is a moving slide. You can see it goes from negative 1 through to 0 all the way up to 1. Now, I said before, you are very, very rarely going to achieve a negative 1 or a 1. A PMCC of exactly 1 means it's perfectly positive. In other words, the crosses that you would have plotted are perfectly in line, perfectly linear. No anomalies, no outliers. The line of best fit will simply go through every single cross with no crosses on either side. Exactly the same for negative 1. You're more likely to produce values from, not, from strong negative all the way to strong positive. So a strong positive may have values of 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, 0 0.95. A strong negative may be negative 0 0.8, negative 0 0.9. And you have the converse here, weak positive may be 0 0.3 and so on. And those categories will determine the strength of that correlation. If you look at our next slide, we have some examples of scatter graphs, two variables plotted with a line of best fit, and you can see how strong they are. So if you have an R value of 0 0.7, which is fairly strong, you can see the points are quite clustered together. If you have a R value of 0 0.3, although it's positive, it's very weak because the points are not as clustered, they're a bit more sparsed out. Now, before we do our first example, we need to know on our calculator how we set up PMCC, and that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so first bit we need to do is set it up. We need to start off with pressing Shift and Setup. Now, if you go to Shift Setup, you see one, two, three, four, but we can actually scroll down and you see a further numbers one, two, three, four, and we're gonna to go to number three and that's statistics. You'll see here we have frequency one, representing on, frequency two, representing off. We need to frequency off. So we're gonna to go to number two. Okay, once you've done that, we go to our menu screen, which is here, and you can see we can scroll down. You've got calculate, you've got vectors, you've got statistics. We're gonna need number six, which is our statistics. Okay, once you've got that, we need to know which category we're gonna use. We're going to go for number two. And if you look at number two, it's y equals a plus bx, which is simply our y equals mx plus c, our linear line, our regression line. So we're going to go to number two. And from there, you'll see that we have cells for x and y to input. In other words, they're the variables with the data that has to be put in. You've got values for x and values for y. And in our example later on, once these are filled in, I'll tell you how we then interpret. So we're going to go to our first example. Our 
first example being x values from 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, y values 65, 49, 46, 39, 30. Now you have, may have got that when you were younger. Okay, you may have had to draw a scatter graph. Without us drawing a scatter graph, if you look at the numbers on x, they are rising on y, they are descending. It's quite obvious as x goes up, y goes down, we have got ourselves a negative correlation. It's not enough to say it's negative correlation. We need to say what strength it is. We need to state the value of PMCC. And they're the values that we're going to put in on our x and y. So the x will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. Okay. And we then go to our y values. And we type in 65, 49, 46, 39, and 30. Once you've got all 10 pieces of data on, we now need to use the calculator to work out our PMCC. And this is where we go to the option button on the top and you go to number four. And if number four is regression on calculator. Now, if you go to number four, you can see here it has three values there. We have an A value, which in this case will be our Y intercept. We have our B value, which will be our gradient. Now, you can see the gradient here is negative 4.36. That's obviously telling us what we knew, that was a negative correlation. But more important for today's lesson, we have a bottom number of an R. And our R would be negative 0 0.930871 and so on. And that's telling us it's fairly strong, very, very strong in fact. So we have a R value of negative 0 0.9309 and that would tell us if we had to draw a scatter graph, we will get a very strong negative correlation. I'm hoping you understood today's work. Next lesson, we're going to go on to another statistics lesson. Feel free to keep going back to the video.